All right. You ready? I'm ready. Are you okay. ready? I'm not ready. Are you not ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. He's I'm ready. ready. Okay. I'm Mike. No. Your name's Fuck. not Mike. My name is Keeper. No, we messed up again. Okay. I'm Keeper. And I'm Mike. <laughs> this is Kel. He's hanging with us today. This is name pending. Woo! Name pending. Hang out with us today while we talk about whatever. Yeah, this is uh this is getting close to Christmas now. It is getting close to so Christmas. So time for some indoor hangout time because it's pissing rain outside. Not because it's cold. We'd be out there. We'd have a fire. No, I mean, it's not even cold out. I think burn it's some, only supposed to get down to the 30s tonight. Burn some propaganda. You yeah. know, have fun. Hang out. I doubt that it'll even get down to 30 with the cloud covering the rain. Well, Debbie Downer over here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fucking taking it out of my fucking I like life. I like the warm air. You know that. <laughs> okay, so again, we're going to start with. Book recommendations. Okay. So before you go into the tangent that I we all love, <laughs> my wife just finished the first audiobook of Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone. She yes. finished that, and I was like, fuck yeah. I've had this on audiobook for years now, and now she's getting into it. And I know she doesn't watch these videos, so I can tell her that she's getting her Christmas present of the Harry Potter book series. Because she's not going to watch this anyway. <laughs> this is going to be the first one she ever watches. Watch it. And then she's going to be like, oh, spoiler. But she loved the book. She was like, oh, I didn't know this was in here. I didn't know this was in here. I didn't know. I was like, yes, there was a lot taken out for the movie. And they're reworking it. But we'll get into that later. Book recommendations. Book recommendations. So I've gone what through it, a lot. We, we've actually had like two weeks. We skipped we, a week. We've had two weeks. So I've gone through a lot. Let me see. Recently, because, you know, I do reading and I do audiobooks. So recently, the eighth book in the Murderbot Diaries came out. Now, the Murderbot Diaries, they're all short books. They're almost like novellas, right? But it's based off of the protagonist is what they call a construct, which is a created person, more or less, like a Kindle, right? But they are designed for different drone activities. But it's a combination of like mechanical, you know, cyberware stuff and, you know, flesh. But it's not like a human that's been like implanted with stuff. It's like from the ground up, it was built. Yeah. You know, uh, and so at, you know, it it is essentially from its perspective and its growth as a person into a person. Right. From essentially nothing. You know, um, including its choice to, even though it hacked its uh, firmware. Yeah, its governing module. Okay. Right? Because this is dystopian future, like, corporations own the galaxy kind of thing. Kind of like they had a, the Netflix series where dude was in prison for so long, ended up in this new body. It was... Uh, oh, I know the one you're talking about because he got re... re yep, he was this Asian dude that was a badass. The book was better. I didn't even know there was a book. Yep, the book. I actually read the book first, and then I saw that, and I was like, what's this? It was like AI something, or I, I don't know. Great book, though. You read books recently that have been good? I don't read books. Uh, the only book I really read is the Bible. You know, that's, that's a... I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a, there's a tornado of all kinds of... There, there's there's <clears throat> a lot of good stuff. <clears throat> I will say that there is nothing wrong with expanding your horizons because it will give you different perspectives on what you read in the Bible as well. Agreed. Because I used to be that way too. I used yeah. to be like, the only book I'm reading is the Bible. And I was friends with Mike at the time. He was like, oh, well, this book and this book. Eventually got me onto books. And now most of the time when I'm driving on my way home, my release is listening to books. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm doing that. And it, I listen to quite a bit of audio books. I don't, I'm not. Well, that's what I do. Audiobooks that I still count that as reading. Yeah, I, I have, uh, I have, I have learning disabilities, so I, uh, it takes longer for me to to be able to read, right? Because I have reading issues, um, and it it becomes very distracting and and uh, frustrating for me to like sit there and I can see other people that are like, it's only a hundred page book. I can read that in a day. And it takes me three weeks, right? So um, that that's frustrating in itself. So I listen to, to audiobooks. Um, I think What's the, the last, most recent one? The most recent one that I finished was David Goggins. Um, I think it's called True, True Grit. True Grit. You know David Goggins, I do right? know. Uh, 
I, we've Navy talked about this a little bit. Like, he's a Navy. He actually I mean, he, started as like a 300 pound dude. Yeah. And, and he, one day he woke up and was like, fuck it. I'm getting thin. I'm changing myself. Yeah. I'm doing this. And Steven's how actually many, a huge dog. Uh, okay. How, how many times did he go through budge training because he failed out because of one I thing or another? I think it was three. And then the third time he ended up breaking one or both of his ankles. Yep. And still like would not accept treatment would not like allow them he to wouldn't do be anything. washed he back did, he did the whole with basically the whole budge training which is ungodly long with two broken ankles or a broken ankle and then running a 15 mile deal whatever. oh his marathon thing end. cracks me up and he's then just he's like marathons i'm now. just so, gonna do a marathon so no fun, training funny enough a goggin story is what convinced me to make sure that i stretch regularly while i'm working out yeah, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, and and I'm gonna go ahead and say it for the camera, right? But let's go. Yeah. Essentially, how the story goes is that like he was going through some issues. Mm-hmm. Like he's physically fit, he's kicking ass, doing all this stuff, but he's going mm-hmm. through like starting to go through like fucking organ failure and shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Docs can't figure out what's going on. Yeah. And then he runs across someone, and I think it was a Navy personnel or something like that, who was like, it was. I thought it was. It was a Marine personnel attached to a Navy unit. Yeah, and they was, were like a trainer of some yeah, sort. Yeah, they were a trainer. And they were medical something, training, yeah. one thing or another. But and, yeah. and they were like, oh, well, have you been stretching? Which is a fucking asinine question to ask someone when but their he organs was like, are failing. No. no. It was it, like, what do you mean? I've been doing work. I've been working out. Badass. Yeah. The, the actual title of that book is Don't Hurt Me. Don't Hurt Me. Yep. I've I've listened or, to some sorry, of his can't, books. Can't hurt me. I've listened to some of his books. I I love his books. Um, it is a am- he he's just an he's an amazing motivational individual. Yep. And it, and it's you know like I, I've been I I just got serious about my Instagram account and and making posts every day and and trying to get more followers and doing all that stuff too and be a motivational um, influence in in a world that seems to be in despair and lacks an intense amount of hope. Yeah. And so what what I, I feel like society needs in today's world is more humor and more pearl. positive more positivity pearl. and pearl more pearl. Right? Um but um you're oh, always a guest. <laughs> you're always the guest. You're one of the co-hosts. Um, <laughs> but you know like and so you know I'm I, since I started doing that and I guess with the hashtags that I've been posting or whatever with motivational stuff, I'm getting a lot of more like, uh, feedback and feedback a way. from other people who are like in wheelchairs and then, yeah. you know, like I'll post my gym work. I'll post that I'm at the gym or I'll post that I'm riding my bike or whatever. And you know, a motivational quote or a uh, motivational song or something like that with the video or the, or the pictures. And but then I'll, I'll get I'll, I'll be scrolling through the feed, looking at different videos for inspiration on what I should post next, and I get this this person who's cut up from the knee down in a wheelchair at the gym, like bench pressing four hundred pounds, and I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> and here I am complaining I can't do one hundred and thirty five pounds. You know right. what I mean? Like, um, I, I get that though. I mean, you see, especially guy TikTok, guy Instagram specifically motion towards guys and we've yeah. talked a little bit about this on the podcast before is uh who do you go to when when you're at your lowest and we've specifically talked about this maybe yeah. when we we're setting up forever ago but I, like, yeah i don't think we did it on camera like who's who's that one person that and, you go to and most guys on instagram and tiktok are like i don't have i don't i get on a bike or i drive my car really fast and mm-hmm. if i make it home then I know I'm still supposed to be here. Yeah. But then I go mock Jesus. Yeah, I go mock Jesus trying to meet him and I make it home and I was like, well, I pulled back into the parking lot, pulled back into the garage, pulled back. Yeah. I guess I'm still supposed to be here. I'm not a girl. I can't post a photo and just be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't post booby pics, you know. And be I like, mean, you can. Get you can. Get a thousand, <laughs> thousand followers the next day. You know, Maybe like, two. <laughs> Maybe just post feet pictures, bro. Feetfinder.com. <laughs> <That's>, um, <laughs> not sponsored, but hey, there's there's actually out. a guy on TikTok that I follow on Instagram that I follow, and his name is his handle is I think it's Caffeine Writer or something, 
And every video, I don't ever see this dude riding his motorcycle. He's always like outside by his carport or whatever, where his bike's like covered up. Like it's got the cover on it and everything. And he's shirtless wearing jeans. And I'm like, and a helmet. And I'm like, why? <laughs> so it, it's weird <laughs> but because it, but he's getting the views. It's weird because, you know, the, these, 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 uh, the, the workout TikTokers and these, you know, the fitness influencers. TikTokers. I don't give a shit about them. Do you know the ones I do give a shit about? Um, like there's this one guy, this uh one, you know, I guess he's an influencer, but really he's a he's a coach, but he posts up videos and stuff, you know, workout videos and stuff, and his name is Eugene Tao, right? I think he's based I out I think I've seen some of his Yeah, I think he's based out of Australia and I love his stuff. And the reason I love his stuff is because he breaks down the mechanics of, of what's going thing. on oh. in the workout, the muscle yep. mechanics. What's happening in your body for each workout. Yes. I have seen him. Yes. Because he breaks it down. He brings in the scientific, the medical, yeah. and the physical. What is actually, when you're doing a pull-up, this is what's happening in your biceps. Yes. Yes. This is what is. And he's not afraid to go back and say, listen, I at one up. point, I said that this workout was a good workout. And I was telling everyone to do this, or I was telling everyone to follow these cues. And, and I was wrong. And I was wrong. And, I've, and I'm like, fuck yes. I can get behind that. I can watch your shit. I'm not going to pay yeah. for anything because I don't know if I can get a lot of use out of your stuff. But he apparently has this great like app. You know, yeah, line coaching stuff. Oh, and, and then stuff. He'll, he'll break down and create a workout for you. Yeah, yeah. Said, yeah, I've seen him. It, he actually showed me because I was doing laps, right? I've checked out his app. His app is actually pretty cool. No, it looks really cool. I, I did it for a month. I loved it. It's just... The cost outweighed for what I wanted to spend because I had the one month workout. Yeah, and realistically, after you get a one month workout, you just copy and paste. You you just can copy and paste the rest of the yeah, stuff. Yeah, but that but means- it does change depending on who how you excel throughout workouts. And realistically, you need to be changing your workouts every few months. And mm-hmm. the reason you want to do that is not every twenty days. After yeah. twenty days of just doing skull crushers or I need you to do that motion again. Skull crushers. Yeah. Okay. Skull crushers. <laughs> skull crushers. <laughs> but I after, often do skull crushers. Yeah. <laughs> Smash the eagle over here. <laughs> Safe search that. No, but it's no, just the pterodactyl, after, bro. <laughs> after 20 days, your body's just, you get no more gain from that one workout if you do that same workout. Well, if you're not if you're not increasing weight or Correct. increasing So gravity, even this is you, where same workout same workout, yeah. same weight, same everything. 20 days, you have met your cap. You're not gaining anything. Well, and the way you're supposed to do it is like if you do, for instance, I I, I subscribe to uh, a fitness app, a workout app, and it's called Fitness AI. No plug. No, we're not sponsored by them. We're um, not sponsored by anything. So, <laughs> But um, we can be. But yeah, we'll <laughs> accept your money if you want to pay. But uh no, it, and it what it does is it creates the workout for you. You know, you, you decide how many days you want to go to the gym or if you want yep. to work out at home. And it tells you your home work, your home workout uh, exercises. It tells you what things you can do at the gym. It, it, it intermixes your twitch muscle, your fast twitch with your slow twitch muscles. Um, and it, it even shows you on it, like how to actually perform the exercise with the weight. And what I love about it is for the last... Six months, I've been doing bench press every Monday, right? But every week, my reps go up for the same weight until I get to 12 reps. So same weight, high rep. Yeah, and, so and then I go up. Well, I start at like six reps. So right? what, I, what I always grew up and then it goes to 12. doing was a high weight, low rep, or low weight, high rep. Yes. That's what we always did in football. So I put on, I put on 15 pounds when I first... Started hanging out with everybody. I put on 15 pounds and I do 200 on the bar. I do 200. And but that's it's only 15 you, pounds. That's what you do to get cut. Correct. And to get so that definition. Low weight, high rep. Yep. And I was just, again, But if exactly you want to build like you mass said. and you go high weight, low rep. Exactly. And so, but with this workout, what it does is it, it, it changes it on you every week. You're doing the same exercise, but you're going up a rep or you're going up five pounds or 10 pounds on your, on your weight. And, in, and when you go up on weight, then it drops your weight, your reps down and you work back up to 12 and then so on and so on. Right. And so I actually, it was pretty crazy because I, my, my max weight in high school 
and and even in the military was 135. Bench 260 press. in high school. Bench press has always been I've never been able to get higher than 135 on a single rep max. In high school bench was 260. My squats though, I was at like 370. Yeah, I was around 420 for squats in high school. And that was just that was just where I was at. Yep. And I kept trying to get further and further. I couldn't. And now I'm like at 165 front squat, right? <laughs> but the other day, oh, my squat's still nasty. Yeah, my my the other day uh, I was at the gym with a buddy, and uh, I got him to spot me, and and I won't I won't try to max out if I don't have a good spotter or somebody I trust to spot me. I got up to 170, and I was like, man, that's 35 pounds. You were loving it. I was like, hell, yeah. and that so was that, after I did four sets at 150 pounds. So that's that old man muscle because I have found that as I've gotten older, it is easier to push a higher weight. You know, yes. and, and, but you know what though, your pre, like if, I don't know if y'all do pre-workout or your, your protein. I, I, I did speaking about books, there's a book out there that's supposed to be a really phenomenal book called the four hour body. And it, and I haven't read it yet, but my, my wife's reading it and she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm infatuated with this book because X, Y, and Z. And you she's said like, four hour body, four hour body. And in that book, in that book, it talks about the 30, 30, 30 rule. When, wh- what within- about the other 10? That's only 90. You figure it out. I don't know. But uh, within 30 minutes of waking up, you take 30 grams of protein. Within 30 minutes of that, you do 30 minutes of, of workout. And it is supposed to actually. For our body, talks about four meals per day, counting only the allowed foods that they talked about. So. I mean, I know what you're saying, but this kind of sounds like one of those fad. It does Instagram sound like a fad. I'm, I'm looking at this workout protein things. legumes, which is lentils, soybeans, pinto beans, red beans, black beans, vegetables. As like, okay, but you're not it's steering you away from meats again. But it, now I will tell you something that a lot of people 30, 30, 30. Here it is. What we were talking about. Let me dive into this and let me jump over to you is a. Uh, 30, 30, 30 is a weight loss method involves 30 grams of protein within the first 30 minutes of your day and following with 30 minutes of light exercise. That's where you get the 30, 30, 30 rule. So it's not going for a hundred percent. It's 30 grams of protein within the first 30 minutes of your day, followed by 30 minutes of light exercise. That makes sense now, but you're, you were saying. So what a lot of people forget about is how like critical creatine and creatine intake can really be because it has so many benefits outside of just, you know, retaining water weight or anything like that. Right. Right. Like there's additional, there's additional overhead benefits and the, so far they haven't really found negatives for taking creatine. Right. And, 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 you know, I took creatine in high school, right. To bulk up and, and it, it can do a good job, but I was spending $200 a month on creatine in high school. Right. And so, yeah, but that was, but when? that was 1998, 97. Yeah. Guess how much like a thing of creatine that'll last me months cost. I thought it was like 150, $160 last time I checked. What? Creatine? creatine? Fuck no. I the, spent, the big boys? I spent like 30 bucks on some creatine that's I'm lasting not, me for The forever. small cans or the big cans? Yeah, the small cans. But that's the problem that's, with creatine today. It's not FDA regulated. And so they can tell you that there's this much creatine in it, but it's not necessarily regulated. You and 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 not all creatine is the same. No, there's different chemical makeups of yeah. creatine. You need to get the right kind. Yeah. Agreed. And that's and that's what you know the public needs to understand is if we're talking about creatine in itself, yeah, creatine in itself is is a great source for building bulk and, and retaining things and, and having Good it's also supposed. It's also supposed to. Yeah, it's supposed to help with mental acuity mm-hmm. and other other very it positive side focus. effects. And they have found that just because you're ingesting creatine doesn't mean your body will stop producing creatine. Unlike with a lot of well, other like things. testosterone, human. if you start taking testosterone, your body your can body stop, will stop producing so, it. Human. After my motorcycle wreck, where I lost a lot of my memory, had issues. We've talked about this yeah. working with you, and I was like, just tell me if I'm on the right page. Because you didn't, things I literally just taught you. I had no idea. Couldn't remember. But cumin, if you have a tablespoon of cumin a day, yeah, it's, it's supposed to help. And it, to me, it has helped. My memory has started getting better. You can call it time. You can call it. But there's studies where cumin is one of these things that help 
increase so, activity well, that's like because it, helping it, with blood pressure. Turmeric's another one because it floods your it floods some something in your body that it starts producing to counteract and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So my dad's been taking apple cider vinegar for months yeah, now. With the mothers. Is, with the mothers. And yep. he has been swearing up and down that it has been helping him lose weight. And he looks like it does. He no, looks no, like he's lost it cleans weight. your system out. It does. It cleans your system. It's actually been proven to work with the mothers and it, and the thing is is that like he's not a person who's going to go out on workout regimen. What he does is we he talked has a about this the other day with him. Yeah, he's got stretching Doing regimens. Doing mobility yeah, like exercises. Yeah, more aerobic, but it has helped him lose so much weight. And now that it's starting to cool down outside, because once it was 100 degree weather outside, my parents weren't walking. He told me today when I talked to him, he was like, it's getting cold outside. And I was like, you were a husky man the first time I met you. <laughs> and he was like, well, I appreciate that you said were. And he was like, and he brought up, the mother with the mother's apple cider vinegar. He's yeah, like, oh, I've been doing this and it's it's been working. Put a little bit in my water, and then what is mother's? Uh, so I don't know what the mother's is, but it's apple it? cider vinegar. Mm-hmm. But you need to make sure as with mother's whatever the mother's is. It's on. It's on there. It says with mother's. Yeah, it's it's like a particular kind of apple cider vinegar like ingredient in it, and it helps your helps your body one way or another. And it actually is proven to work. It's. Worked numerous times. Speaking of ingredients and completely different, and I did no research on this, and I absolutely did not. Let's look fucking anything go. Up. Let's go. I saw a post on Reddit saying that, hey, they're going to start including bugs in your food now. What? Bugs? Yeah. Protein bugs? Yeah. Like, Suck it. I mean, they're yeah. already <laughs> doing it. If you're putting mealworms in my fucking food, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> no, here you go. Back 2008. So, you know, the little cheese and the, like the long pretzel sticks you'd have and little to go things yeah there was a cockroach packed in still alive disgusting in one of mine i sent them the photo i got two years supply holy shit ask me what a two-year supply is because i was not prepared for this two fucking pallets 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 shit. they dro- <laughs> you the usps dude I don't know why they use the United States Postal Service, but they did. They used them because they're the best service, and you should use the United States Postal Service so we can keep them. But this dude, right. I felt so bad. I'm only like 16, 17 at the time. And him and three other guys come out of his truck and unload this pallet. They don't have a pellet jack. They're just manually They manhandle this pallet. bad boy out. And my mom comes out and was like, I know you said you had a two year supply, but I didn't know they were going to give it to you all at once. (laughs) And no joke, this thing stood six foot tall. Each one weighed 600 pounds. So you got three guys lifting up 600 pounds, which is doable. Yeah. Makes sense. We could do that. Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. So they lifted up the pallet. I couldn't. (laughs) That was the only thing in the truck. There was nothing else. There was no mail. There was, no, they dropped it to my house. The two of them. That thing was loaded down with two $600, two 600 pound pallets and just placed in there. My mom calls the rest of my siblings and we load this into our, what was our laundry room. Now it's our extra, extra pantry. <laughs> and it's like, everybody's taking like six of these. <laughs> what was this food again? It was, uh, it's the little, like, uh, they're not pretzels. They're uh, like little breadsticks you dip into cheese. Mm. Oh, yeah, like the little packets that you do. Yeah, the fun, little individual packets. Fun fact about, like, Folgers and all those coffee brands. Um, it, there is an acceptable, acceptable, allowable. Shut the fuck up and let me talk. <laughs> Let's go. I'm listening. I fucking know this. let me talk. Stop talking <laughs> over me. I'm trying to fucking talk here. God, <laughs> fucking keeper. I Nobody loves you. I love this. Let's go. <laughs> There's an acceptable percentage of cockroaches allowed to be ground up in your Folgers, in your all those coffee brands. That's why Folgers taste so good. That have the pre-made. <laughs> it's why you don't do those brands anymore. Yep. Gross. But this is everyone that does machine work. Yes. Everyone has an acceptable, allowable Tolerance. issue. I mean, car manufacturers that use robots, Tesla's one of them, Ford's another, GM's another. 
Yeah. That there's an acceptable issue level. And it's it's crazy. Yeah, but they don't all include cockroaches. They, they don't have drinking, okay? They don't include cockroaches. But you know, the protein's great for you. You can totally use more protein in your life. Because you don't make me giant fucking steaks. Like, oh my You know, the, the rule to that though is is okay, so I'm I'm roughly about two hundred pounds. And when I started working out a year ago, I was two twenty, two twenty five, and I dropped down to two about 200, maybe two, you know, I fluctuate between 195, 205. And, um, but, you know, since April, I, I've lost 20 pounds. No, I've lost three inches off my waist. I gained 20 pounds of lean mass. So if I'm staying at the same weight of 200 pounds since April, that means 20 pounds of fat has shredded off my body and 20 pounds of muscle has basically been gained, right? But here's the key to it. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> you just stop. What do you mean? Just, you know what? Hold it. Let's, uh. You restart it? You didn't have to stop. Okay. I'm Don't trying to just keep talking. I'm I mean, trying to think what I was going to say. We're we're waiting on you talking about your workout stuff. You're two hundred ish. Yeah. Now. So so I lost all this this weight. Oh, the, the grams. Okay. So I'm at two hundred pounds. Right? Grams. Let's just say, wow. The, grams. Yeah. We're Fuck. About pick grams. a system. Okay. So grams. metric. So I'm two hundred pounds. And you just talked about grams. We're gonna get to grams. Two hundred pounds. So how much how much protein do you think I need to ingest? Three liters. Day? No. It's one gram per pound. Three liters sounds great. <laughs> What's it's, that in it's, pounds? How many grams are in a pound? I don't know. Um, research. How many grams are in a kilo? All of them. <laughs> how, how, many, how, many, how many ounces are in a pound? All of them. 16. All right. So there's... we've been on this subject for a minute. <laughs> but I don't know. I want I to touch on something. Okay, we, let's go. We're going to stop on this one. Argentinian president. We touched a little bit on this oh, last man. podcast. He goes like this. We have all this bullshit about all these different freaking ministries and you're shut down, you're, you're shut, shut down, down, you're shut, shut down, down, you're shut, shut down. down. So did you He's know like, about this guy? I was elected. Let's go, bitch. So the Argentinian president <laughs> is a libertarian who got elected into Argentina. Properly elected. He goes, let's, everybody, let's have a vote. They vote, they vote him in. He's like, let's go. You're done. You're done. So he starts cutting. <laughs> he, he, pulled says, an, he pulled an Oprah and said, you're done. You're done. Yes. You're done. Because, you know, there's the, <laughs> my favorite is the depart, the ministry of like diversity in women affairs. Women's or, affa- women yeah, affairs was the most recent yeah. one. And he's like, cut loose. We don't need this one. Like education, cut loose. We don't need this one. Millions like, of dollars are just thrown there. What are you doing? Because you know what? He did the proper thing. He was like, women's affairs. What are you actually doing? Crickets. Nothing. So Fucking. cut the budget. He was like, then you're done. Because if you can't said, tell me what you're doing for women affairs. I have no reason to keep you. He said by the end of the next fiscal year, he'll have them on a positive buzz- budget. It he, sounds like he will because I because mean, he is just spent. fucking cutting shit loose. I would fucking kill, fucking kill to get this in America. I tell you that right he, now. He was in America two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago talking about he's pro Israel, pro this. It was like that's awesome. I support you, dude. Let's let's go. Like this is awesome. But then he so is this his, guy, wait, hold up. Is this guy Argentinian or is he like yeah? Okay, so he's an Argentinian national. Who was then elected to be president, prime of, minister, or of yeah. Argentina? Okay, so it's not somebody who came from like the United States and said no, bloop, bloop, no. Let's go. And my favorite thing, he was like, "Bro, if you got a million dollars of cryptocurrency, I will accept your citizenship. Yeah. I will sign your my name on your citizen. Nothing else." It was like, "Just come here with a million dollars of crypto." Game done. You have citizenship. Okay, and then what do you do with that million dollars of crypto? Just invest in the community, or you have it. That's it. You just become a citizen there. So now, what this does is this allows revenue. It it changes the statistics, the numbers of 
citizens who have a certain amount of money, which allows them to get certain aid from different countries. Yeah. It allows for different benefits from NATO per se. And across the board, it allows more because they're no longer a third world country. They are a first world country, which is his, his biggest goal is I'm bringing us into the 2000s. Yes. He wants to, uh, he does not want Argentina to be Colombia. Yep. I hear you. Yeah. But are, are they, are they in a, I don't watch the news and I'll study the news. They've been in a recession for a while. Okay. They, but are they, are they yes, they have been country? in the tank for a minute. Are they are they considered to be a drug producing country that no more like, than the rest of South America? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I but mean, I'm sure Colombia funnels through Argentina or or vice versa. Uh, Argentina is the backbone. So yeah. you have Brazil on this side, and I believe Peru and Argentina are on this side, or Peru's on this side and Argentina is on this side. I think Argentina is on this side because I listen, thought it was the mountain. Listen, yeah, because Chile, Argentina. I. Have a Texas education that does not mean I know <laughs> South American fucking geography. All right, because we weren't taught that in school. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw up a map right here. <laughs> I was. We won't. We won't. Now, now you can but we'll throw up a map in. right here. <laughs> we won't. You can put up a, a graphic right there with the map on it in front of the fireplace. There you go. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> we'll throw up a map right here. Argentina's right here, not somewhere <laughs> in, in that circle. <laughs> um. But because you you threw me on this, you're like, I want to talk about the Argentinian president. And I was like, let's go. I have some things I want to talk about. And you were he was jumping out the bit the last podcast we did. He was like, let's go. I want to talk about it. And I was like, all right, here's the time. Let's go. And we talked about it. And it's just like, since then, I've just been like, <laughs> what are you doing? Let me know. I need to know. Because I want that. For us, yes. Yeah. I don't. Maybe we don't get that for America, but how about we get that for Texas? Yep. I right. Mean, well, you know, you know, Texas. Or, to... or, what if I run for president for twenty twenty four? I'm will. old enough. I'll vote for I'm you. Old enough. I'm not. Are you 30, I'll vote for you. I'm thirty five years old. That's, I'll vote for you. You know what? That's that's exactly what we need. We. I am so tired of our presidents being over the age of fifty. Brandon Herrera, though he's. I'm voting for him. I'm voting for Brainerd Herrera. He's running for Congress. Congress or I thought it was no. I think it's Congress. I thought it was Congress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's running as a congressman. Yeah, you know, I was like, bro. You know who Brandon Herrera is? No, never. He, oh. He's a he's a gun tuber. Okay. He he seriously became more popular with Black Rifle and YouTube all over the place. He went to Florida. Um, for something against the ATF, yeah. and was one of their spokesperson as a gun activist in a like a like the National Rifle Association, yeah, yeah. kind of like he dude is all over. The, he's has a boxing record of one zero undefeated. <laughs> I mean, that's like what you seriously, need, right? they're like <laughs> you win one fight. No, but <laughs> no, but seriously, they're like let's go boxing, and he's yeah. like. Fuck he, it. When? He did prep work. Six like, months of prep yeah, work. Yeah, he like, like legitimately. Is this the guy that was on that was on uh, Instagram or TikTok saying, bring it on, bring it on, like the whole time? And he's like doing. Ch- 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 and, I, and like. I don't know. I know when. I know, when, I I know when, when San Antonio was like, oh, we're doing our buyback program of guns. He went downtown and bought a bunch of guns. Did we actually? We had that? Yeah, we had a yeah. buyback program. Every major city, I think, in Texas had a buyback program now. Every Screw blue. That. Every blue city, which most cities are blue. Which city in Texas isn't blue? Point proven. Uh, well, Austin's kind of purple now. I don't even know what that means. What? <laughs> Austin is... Congress. It is Congress. Austin is California. This guy. To be honest. Oh, he looks like Jason Momoa. <laughs> Just skinnier. I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah, and shorter. And, and shorter. Nothing, and nothing like him. But, you know, he's, <laughs> actually, he's definitely not Aquaman. That's for sure. <laughs> but, you know, he's a veteran. He's like, fuck it, America. And his, I loved his YouTube video you showed me. He's like, he's sitting in a hotel room. And he's just like, and I, for the first, like, two, three minutes, because I know who he is. Yeah. You think this is going to be like a joke. He's like, so I've thought about this for a while. I'm running for Congress. 
And he was like, I know a lot of people you guys are going to think this is a joke, but I'm running for this district and this and this. And he's serious and he's been doing it. Yeah, and like, he's running for one of our local districts in the area. Damn. All right. It, it's the, Bandera all the way over to uh, Bernie, all the way over to um, Big Bend, up to past Lubbock. I don't remember where. Damn, that's a big area. But it's the district. It's, it's the, the district. district he's going yeah. for. Okay. But I was just like, I, I know who you guy. are. And Let's he's go. doing it because, you know, he's he's like the rest of us, right? Mm-hmm. He's been preaching stuff. He's yeah. been preaching about being active. And he sat down, and I can respect this, right? Because we've you know, talked about this. We've talked about this. But he said, I've been preaching this, and I've been preaching being active, and I'm going to fucking put my money, literally his money, where his mouth is, because he's funding this all himself. Oh, nice. Oh, but his sponsors are other tubers now. From what I understood with research, I, I haven't fully fact checked this, but his tuber, his fellow YouTubers that are close to him, are helping him along the way. And nice. I was like, "Fuck yeah!" You know what? If Mike goes to run for president, guess where my money's going? For Mike for president, let's go! I will have the poorest presidency run we've ever seen, but you, by God, I'll do it. I mean, <laughs> Joaquin Castro, right? Was it Joaquin Castro that was running for president? He, I know the name sounds familiar. I what, do know that. It was either Joaquin or his brother. They they one of them was running for president, but they couldn't get they couldn't get the the financial backing from the people enough to continue on. So, you have different you have different stages in a election period to get you to the last two that that fight for the the title. Pretty much, you got to get to gold is where you got to get to. And so if you're not meeting financial deadlines by a certain time, so you have to raise so much money for your campaign by this time. And if not, then you have to withdraw. That's just like part of the rules. So like he couldn't get enough financial backing in the last election to run for the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. I don't remember what what his thing is and i don't really care because Fuck there's you, not really a political a party there's not really this. even a political party anymore i mean they're all and they're yeah, all for they're themselves all liars, for the most right? part you know like, yeah i mean they're they're in bed together can we get a non-binary party right? system please? that's what we need to do we need to go green party or libertarian something and, and, and get somebody that's not who's completely different congressional district in 2013 is when he tried this. Okay, so, you know, and then, um, but get somebody that's actually down the middle, right? Because he my, biggest, my biggest frustration is in, in politics. Politics, all the politics right now is the fact that no one, no one on either side represents is, the people well yes that too but, that's but they don't represent going. the actual party but what's and, up and the beliefs well, no, of the but, party but no one's willing to meet in the middle no one is willing to say i'm not going to get everything i want you're not going to get everything you want let's meet somewhere in the middle this last government shutdown bullshit fuck the government should never get to shut down I am sorry for people who only work like four months out of the year. You, that's right? every two. That's years, being by gracious. The way. That's, that's every two years, by the way, because they only have to go and serve for that time during two years. Yeah, every two years. I'm sorry, unless the governor calls them in under an emergency call session or whatever. Unless you are working on your normal job, and guess what? If you're working your normal job, you're not getting paid by the government. You well, can they fuck yes. Off. Say they technically okay, so. Let's let's be kind of they clear should, on, on not all of this because they they do work throughout the year in their own designated offices in their own home state. However, they do they go, though? Do they really? Bro, well, and and I, I'll I'll go with you on that because when I when I tried to, so I applied for SSDI, right? And okay, time out. Explain what SSDI is. Because SSDI I don't is, know. is Social Security Disability Income. Okay. Because I knew that, but I, I don't think Mike did. I know the okay. viewers did. not Yeah. So you, it, it, you have SSI, which is Social Security Income or Insurance in, Income, which it, if you make money based on how much you make, the Social Security, uh, the Social Security Administration can determine 
how much they will pay you in subsequent income to bring you up to poverty level if you're not making poverty level. Okay. Because of disabilities or whatever it is that's keeping you from working and making a good income. Social security disability income is I can't work. So I'm getting a disability check from social security for whatever reason, my disability that keeps me from working. However, there's a stipulation saying that within five years of the last time you worked and claimed the insurance, you have to get the social security disability approved to be able to get it right. Well, it took the social security disability office to two years almost to get back to me on uh, whether or not I'm going to be approved for it. And then they denied it because I was already past the five years, but I had to get the Congress. I had to contact uh, the Congress office saying, Hey, I need help with this because they're not responding. They have no clue when this is going to come through or when it's not, whatever. I just have to sit back and wait and see what happens. So, so they that's got, what, they that's got involved. what SSDI is. Yeah. So, okay. the, so, so Congress got involved, but then, you know, at the end of it, nothing really came of it. Well, I never got to speak to the congressman. I, you know, you speak to a, one of his aides that yeah. works in the office. So, yeah, to, to validate your point, do they ever work? I don't know. I can't, I can't honestly tell you that I've ever even spoken to a congressman because you talk I, to their I aides talk to or one. whatever. I talked to one, so I was dealing with shit. Motorcycle wreck. Me and Bones went over. Mm-hmm. Um, the VA pretty much was like, well, we're not going to pay for this because yeah. you took longer than the 72 hours we allot you. I was but like, I was out. I was like, hospital. I was high in the VA hospital that you guys took me to. I didn't have a choice of where I went. You guys took me here. I was so doped up with drugs. Well, you, you weren't at the VA. You were at a different hospital. You were at. Uh, I was at a military hospital, which yeah, is you were by Bansy. attachment was connected. And it was Bamsi or Samsi, whatever yeah, we're calling it what today. It, yeah. And I was there. I came to. I had my memory issues. I didn't oh, know. Oh, you I was, had some memory I issues. I didn't know I was married. Like, I didn't know I was married. So I had that issue. And that other issues that came up. And they're just you like missed out on a golden opportunity, bro. You could have been like, I don't remember being married. I, I guess we're not married right now. I'm not gonna pull the vow. That's all. <laughs> they made a movie about that, and you know that's shitty as is. But there, there's just like the VA pretty much was like, oh well, screw you. You didn't let us know in this amount of time. So I called my congressman. I was like, the the VA system across the board. Pretty much doped me up to the point that I didn't know I was supposed to call. No VA representative came up. That I, How am I supposed to let someone know while I'm so freaking yeah. doped up that I can't do anything? I remember that because your wife, your wife was so frustrated with the whole system. And... I mean, I don't have an issue with it. What's on it? Is that? I mean, that's good. That doesn't. Okay, fine. I mean, you're good. That. I just want to make sure we're in Texas. <clears throat> yeah. This is a local Texas okay. establishment. Well, I don't have an issue to, with that. I'm fine. I know we talked about not talking about, but well, no, not, we, it's, it's, no, it's not. I mean, it's fight so club. There's, we don't talk there's, about fight club. So for you guys, we don't talk about things that are personal to us in a way that we have in some way a vendetta against because. We don't want to be biased. We want you guys to have your own opinion on things across the board. Well, you don't. Well, why the fuck do I give a shit about their opinions? Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> but <laughs> us, we've both been a part of the same organization. And there's some things we've talked about. We haven't really dove into it. And we probably won't. It'll depend. We'll see where it goes. Maybe way down the road. Down the road, we might talk about it. But fresh scars. Yeah, fresh scars. Kelt's with us right now. He's repping one of the one of the better clubs here in San Antonio. And uh really cool club. Look him up. If you don't know the logo, you weren't meant to. But let's go back to what we were talking about. Congressman, VA. We were talking about stuff like that. We talked about an Argentinian president. 
What do you have? I don't actually have anything new about the Argentinian president, right? No, no, no. Different subject. We don't even have to touch on that one. Because we've touched on a lot about, he just goes like, you suck. Get out of my government. Like, what, what do you have? About the Argentinian president? No, subject wise. Oh, subject wise. You know, because we talked about books. Why don't why don't we why don't we why don't we expand on how that would be beneficial to the American public? That kind of presidency. So like Trump kind of tried to do So that, listen. We? The Trump oh, did, hold on. No, she's fine. She's fine. Pearl Scout. She's fine. She's fine. She's just getting the snorts. Hey, you know what? She's on the YouTube. She's, she's the- one of the co-hosts. I gotta be worried. Nah, she's just getting the snorts. She's, she's getting fine. the snorts. She's we coughing good. up that tree branch. Yeah. <laughs> dogs dogs get that sometimes. Continue. So, if we're going to talk about... Okay, let's start solving America's problems, right? Let's start Woo! solving America's problems right here, right now, right? The first thing we need to do is we need to cut loose a lot of our letter agencies, right? Yeah. So the ATF needs to be cut loose or just broken back, right? Because there is a need for regulation of alcohol, for regulation of drugs. But here's the other thing is like, I do not want you to be able to regulate my firearms. Yes. I am tired of you being able. So you're just the. Oh, I got fucking heated the other day. Go. Go okay. I'm here. I so am here. so oh my gosh. So I watch other YouTubers, obviously. So let me back this up because I'm going to be vocal about this. The U.S. government was like, "We're releasing fucking bears." Oh yes. Oh, oh my yes. gosh. Yes. I was like, "No fucking way." Are you yeah. going to do this? Yes. And it was like you. So in so in Alaska on the Air Force Base specifically, moose are rampant and they destroy yes. fences they've actually rampant taken the, the fences down they've taken buddy fences Tork down just said they something about they that. have flipped hey he's cop cars. our buddy torque too yes. okay, okay. <laughs> by the way torque if you've ever seen this you're still my buddy <laughs> but bears the but government's they like took down the fences at the air force base in alaska oh, because of the means the government's over here we're releasing bears the hold on you thought guns were bad Wait till you keep unloading and the bear doesn't stop. That that's wild. Think about this. I have a bear chasing me. Cause I've I've gone bear hunting. And you shoot it with a 45 and it keeps coming. My so I'm 16, 17 at the time. We're up there. This in Tennessee? Nope. This is up there in the uh northwest quadrant. Okay. Up there, Minnesota, Washington area. In between Oregon there. Area, yeah. All that. And my dad's like, here you go. Here's the 45. I'm carrying the Deagle. You have the 45. Ooh, unload the till it 50. stops. Unload till it stops. I was like, unload the gun till what stops? He's like, <laughs> if a bear it. chases you, <laughs> stand your ground and unload till it stops. I'm it's like, it's coming. It's coming right at me. So no shit. I'm up here in a deer stand. We're hunting for elk. That's mm-hmm. what we're hunting for. I have a 50 caliber. Um, it's Damn, a, you're shooting an elk with a 50? Well, no, it was with a muzzle loader. Okay. It was a 50 okay. cal muzzle loader. Gotcha. So, powdered, pressured, everything set up. I'm there and I know how to prime and set up the next one. So, at most, I have two shots for this. A bear starts coming up. The tree I'm attached to with my deer stand. Mm-hmm. He's climbing up the tree for you? He's climbing up the tree. I freeze. This thing was at least, from what I could tell, four or 500 pounds. Nope. He climbs right past me. And I'm just like, I pissed my pants. Yeah. There's no way. I'm just like, nope, nope. He didn't see you, smell you, nothing, huh? No, he just, he went right by me. I was like, nope, this is this is not happening. This is wild. Just just be fine. Just be calm. Just be invisible. And I'm wearing all my camo. And I'm just like. Being yourself. <laughs> I piss myself. He's about 10 feet up at me. And I hit my dad on the walkie talkie. There's a bear above me. And my dad's like. In the tree. It climbed past you. 
you didn't shoot it? I was like, I have five shots. And you think five shots are going to stop 400 pounds? Yeah. My dad's like, I've seen you shoot skull tap it every time. I was like, no, 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 no. I climbed. I I don't even climb down. I slide down this thing (laughs) with my little mossy oak gloves. I slide down the ladder. I ran. I ran two miles to the cabin. And I'm just like, dad, fuck it. I'm out. And I book it. (laughs) Fuck it. Fuck it. (laughs) Was it a brown bear or a black bear? It was a black bear. There's there's no way I was dealing with a black bear. Hey. I don't see anything wrong with it. So we, we've touched on a couple hey, Jack, things. Jack's been limping like that, and I've looked at her foot, and there's nothing wrong with her foot, so I don't know what to look at. I don't know what to do about it. So so before we close out, I want to touch on the games. We haven't touched on games Dude, yet. Dude, so we do the... And I wanted to touch on this at the beginning after books, but we got super sidetracked. We didn't even cover everything we, about we books. Just touched, we just started playing Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria. Yes. Which has released. Do you know it anything is about released. Lord of the Rings? I know the movie. Okay. Okay. There, so you actually no, know. you actually do know yeah, a lot about this know, game like, specifically. So do you know the first Lord of the Rings movie when they go down under the mountain and they go into the mines of Moria? Before they start. Yeah. So there's the hidden door. They have to fight the Watcher, which is this octopus thing. Yes. That, okay. So that door is Moria. Okay. Now you're into the game we're playing. Okay. Where, which, where you see and what what platform is this on it's, it's on, on PlayStation? playstation and pc pc we're playing on pc with epic games because okay. it's the easiest way for me my wife and mike to play all together yeah to be, I, could i play it on my mac yes, yes. because okay. his wife is playing on it. well she's playing through parsec i don't know what that is because uh, I don't parsec have a is a mac connection to my main, apple bitch to my main pc if you have a desktop I have a laptop. I don't suck on that sweet apple. Bit. Um, I, <laughs> I do I, all day. <laughs> I don't. You might need a desktop. You might need a desktop. But if you download Parsec and you have it on your main desktop, I don't have a desktop. I only have a laptop. I thought you had a desktop, or was that your wife's? No, she's got a laptop. I got a. De- I got a. Laptop. What was the thing right when you walk in your door? That big. I used to have a desktop. So you no apple. longer have a desktop. Yeah, that. That's. That's been gone for years. So then you're looking forward to beginning first quarter, so the first three, four months, for them to make it cross platform, which yeah. was the biggest thing with me and Mike because I bought it on the PlayStation. I was like, I called Mike. I was like, hey, you should buy on the PlayStation. So he buys on the PlayStation. Then my wife's like, I like this game. I like how it works. She started playing it. I was like, hey, Mike. Um, I have it on Epic Games also because my wife likes this, likes this game. So I've bought the game three times. I think he's bought it twice now. I bought it twice. But right now it's like nineteen ninety nine on Epic Games. You could probably buy it the same price on Xbox and get it cheap right now. It's $20. Love the game, but let, let's go back into it. Playing games. It's Moria, Lord of the Rings. So, so realistically, it is. There's fighting in it, but it's really a base building and exploration game. Yeah, right? that's what like, Chess was saying. Yeah, and, and so you know, you go in and you build out your base, and you discover things, and you construct new armor, and you construct new weapons, and you construct new tools. It's and, it's know. a survival crafting game. Is yeah, what it's called. Okay, so it's it's kind of like Minecraft. It's Minecraft, but more for adults, more focused towards adult. It's not on zero. It's very Lord of the Rings. It's it, very, it's Lord, very of Rings. Lord of the Rings. Like it's, it's heavy. Lord like there's the a lot of lore. Okay. If you don't know Lord of the Rings, you'll read stuff and be like, "I didn't." Like we're we're guys who read the Samarillion, all right? Yeah. Which is the extended Lord of the Rings universe. I got you. But it's still, I didn't connect it. Okay, but it's that time. We need to... It is that time. You know, we're going to continue this conversation offline. Check out Lord of the Rings. Was it? It's Minds of Moria. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Minds of Moria. Minds of Moria. Really cool game. Check it out. Not sponsored, but love the game right now. We're checking it out. So I need you to fuck that like button. And throw a comment below. I'll comment. You know, you need something. 
throw throw a comment below. We'll say something. You want us to talk he, about he'll something? He'll say something. I won't look. I'll say something. Mike hates you guys. I so hate everybody. He's not going to say anything. But, you know, we got to go. We'll continue this offline. You know, maybe down the road you'll catch something else. But that's been it. This is name pending. I'm Mike Culberson. Um, he's Mike. I'm Keeper. It's been good. This is Kel. He's been hanging out with us tonight. We'll Cabo continue this Brillo offline. Around here somewhere. They're around chewing branches that you saw earlier. But it's been fun. Yeah. Later. Later.